I need you. And you need me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Stop it. Stop saying that. You need someone to take care of you. No, I don't. Everybody does. It's a quarter Oh, right there. That is the kind of love that makes you want to go the distance, isn't it, Sonia? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, it, no, yes but it no. won't fly <laughs> with our next two guests, Simone Millicis and Brendan Watt. Were together for eight years. They decided to write to break up after writing a book. It's called Relationships. Are you sure you want one? And they join us now from the Sunshine Coast to discuss. Good morning, you two. Let's just clear this up. You decided to write a book together about not needing a relationship which actually prompted you <laughs> to break up with each other. Is that right? Well, we'd love to blame it on the book, but it, <laughs> it had a little bit more than that. We actually, we, we, did, we did write the book while we were in a relationship together for eight years. And then as the book was getting released, we, we looked at it and went, OK, this isn't really working anymore. Wow. Um, you, so we you, decided to create something different. Which is what? Well, the thing is, we were in a great relationship for eight years. And the reason why we wrote the book was because so many people used to talk to us and say, what are you guys doing? So we wrote the book about all the different tools and everything that we used to create a great one. And then we got to the stage where we went, you know what, we're not really creating this anymore. We're like maintaining it, which so many people do, is once they've got a relationship, then they maintain it. Rather than, we like to nickname it a creationship. A relationship should be about creating something greater, not about choosing less than or, you know, stepping into maintaining it. So we went, all right, what if we call it quits and create something different? Yeah. So we broke the relationship up just okay. as we were launching the book. <laughs> so you actually talk about then uncreating your relationship. So what does that entail? Well, we created it based on the tools in that book. So we looked at it and went, one of the things that we did do was we went, okay, so what three things do we desire from each other still in this uncreating the relationship? And in doing that, at, on the top of both of our lists was friendship. So we looked at it and went, okay, so how do we create this as a friendship? And we created it by each and every day, you know, asking what was going to create something greater for our relationship. So now we do the same thing with uncreating it. Like we, you know, just had a meeting with our accountant and looked at all the finance. We own a lot of properties together, a lot of different things. So we went, okay, what do we want to own together as a business? And then what do we want to sell or what do we want this to look like? So being in question continuously of what we want it to look like. Mm. Mm. Okay. You, you say we should uh, stop sugarcoating our love life. Brendan, what are the tools to do that? Well, for a lot of us, but what I've seen a lot of people do is they look for the perfect one, the perfect relationship. And we'll find that off movies, we'll find that off social media, we'll find that from our friends, but we'll create this image of what it is to be in a perfect relationship. Then we'll find a relationship, and then we'll start saying, well, they don't put the toilet seat down, they don't cook dinner, they don't clean, they snore, and we'll have all these different things. So we start focusing on the bad things with the person, and we never look at, okay, what do they actually add to my life, and is this fun for me? Is this relationship fun for me to be in? Yeah, because we hate to break the news to you, there is no the one. Wow, okay. you romantic fool. Well, Simone, uh, when it comes to relationships, we often hear the <laughs> saying, sharing is caring, but you say otherwise, Simone. Yeah, well, I mean, how many times when a man hears, we must talk, he goes, oh my God, oh. and wants to run a million miles. It's like so many females want to talk, and it's like men and women are different. You need to recognize that men and women are different. And if you want to share, get a girlfriend. It's like quite often a man requires space, and I see so many women going, are you okay? Are you okay? Can I do something? Can I help you? And it's like, the man just requires some space. So I think you need to look at, if you're a woman and there's a man, it's like we're different and we do things different. So acknowledge that and create your relationship with that information. And those four words are feared extremely among men is we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's interesting. For more information, you can get the book. Head to relationship, are you sure you won? Dot com. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. Interesting. Viva la Thank, thank you for so. having us. Thank so. you so much. All the best. Coming up.